In the comments of one of my last videos, someone asked if I could explain how the AI toolbox works under the hood. So here we go. To create this script, I started with the example provided by Torktable. Specifically, I've copy and paste the plugin name module example and build from there. I did that because that plugin already contains different graphical elements like label and slider, which make it easier for me to configure the AI plugin the way I wanted. The first section of my script is basically a copy and paste of the module example. As you can see, I even forgot to change the name right there. Overall, this section load the Darktable's Lua API and check that the user has the correct API version. It also defines the plugins information that will appear in the Darktable script manager. The next part of this script is for building the user interface. This is where I declare all the graphical elements that contains parameters. For example, when we use the tag assistant, we can select the number of tags we want to generate. The lines I just selected are used to generate the combo box that we use to select the number of tags we want. If I add a 6 and restart Darktable, I should now be able to select 6 as the number of tags I want to generate. At the end of the script, these widgets get packed into the side panel in Darktable but I had to declare them at the beginning of the script, otherwise I couldn't read their value within other functions. For example, when you press the button to generate tags, the function need to know the number of tags you want to generate. If the widget is declared at the end of the script, the tagging function wouldn't be able to access the value. So if we go at the end of the script, that's where we declare the remaining elements like buttons and labels. Then we pack these widgets into the side panel in Darktable. The me.widgets will put all the elements in the right order. For example, the first element is the label for the tag assistant. So LBL is label. Then we have the checkbox we can use if we want to clear the tags first. The next part of the script contain the helper functions and there are two of them. The first convert the image path into something Docker can read. With Linux and macOS, folders are separated with forward slashes, which is also what Docker uses. But for some reasons, Bill Gates decided to use backslashes. Because of that, I had to create this function to convert the backslashes into forward slashes if the script detects that you are running Windows. The second helper function is used to convert raw files into JPEG. So the AI model we are using cannot handle raw files, so we have to convert them. This function uses the Darktable API to convert the raw files into JPEGs. Also, the AI model will take more time to process bigger files. For that reason, I've added widgets to select the JPEG quality and resolution. So overall, this function is used to convert raw files into JPEG and reduce the size before feeding it to the AI. This function is called when we press the button to generate tags. First, it checks if you have selected at least one picture. If so, it will export it as a JPEG in a temporary folder. If you have selected clear tags, it will use the Darktable API to clear the existing tags. Next, we generate the prompt we feed to the AI. We ask it to generate tags based on the picture we provided. The NB underscore tag will be replaced by the number you selected with the combo box. We also ask it to return only the tags separate with comas. This is critical because later in the script, we will take the output and remove the comas to find the tags. If the output is in a different format, the tags will be completely messed up. Next, we create the command for Docker and Olama and use the Darktable API to run the command. It should then return the tags separate with comas, so we remove them to get the tags. Then we use the Darktable API to tag the picture. Finally, we delete the temporary JPEG file we created, and that's it. The ranking tool works like the tagging tool. We check the number of images selected and export them as JPEG. Next, we create the prompt. So we ask the AI assistant to evaluate our pictures. 
From dark table, we can select the strictness and what we select will be used to generate the prompt. For example, if we select rigorous, the model will receive the prompt, you are a rigorous professional photography evaluator. Also, we ask it to only answer with a single number, otherwise the script will not work. Next, we use the Darktable API to run the command. Finally, we receive the output and use the API again to rate our picture. First, the AI top pick function will check if you have more than one picture selected. If so, it will generate the prompt. The criteria that you use in Darktable will be used to generate the prompt. We also ask the AI to return the index number of the picture to keep. This will be used by the script to reject the picture that are not selected. Then we generate a table with the images paths and generate the docker and olama commands. Next, we run the command and get the output. So in theory, the output should be a number. And finally, we run a for loop that will reject all pictures that do not match this number. Overall, that's what the script does. So I'm not a programmer, so I'm sure there are ways for improving it. So if you have some ideas, let me know in the comments. So that's it for me, and see you next time.